In this tutorial, we will learn how to convert a curve like this into a solid object, like a mesh. A curve can be of two types. If the two ends are disjoint like this, it is an open curve. Then, we can also have a closed curve, like this, which forms a closed loop. We will see how to convert a curve of each type, but first let us focus on the open type curve here. To convert this curve into a solid object, maybe into a rope, or a pipe, we need to go to the Curve tab in the Properties Editor. Now if you scroll down, there is a Geometry section. In the Extrude field, enter a small value. You can see that our curve is changed into a flat surface, like a tape, or you can say a ribbon. To add some thickness to it, scroll to the Bevel section, and in the Depth field, enter a small value, like 0.1. This gives our curve a solid look. This might be useful in some cases, but we can make a better object, in another method. First remove this depth value. Now, go to the Add menu, go to Curve and add one circle. We need to reduce its size. So open this operator box and change the radius to 0.1. Now close this box and select our original curve. There is an Object tab under the Bevel section. Go there and select the Bezier circle and the target object. Now we can see a very good pipe created from our curve. You can easily control its thickness by changing the size of the Bezier circle. Select the circle and press S on your keyboard to resize, then type 0.3 and then hit Enter. Perfect! This is much better. You can further make it smoother by adding a subdivision. So go to the Modifiers tab and add a Subdivision Surface Modifier. Then, change the levels to 3 in both the places. We have a smooth pipe now. This object is still basically a curve. Hence we can see a curve tab here. You can still edit its profile. Once it is final, you can convert it into a mesh from the object menu, convert to, and select mesh. After that, if you select this pipe, you won't get any curve tab here since the object is now changed to a mesh. It is no longer a curve. Let us now take this closed curve and convert it into a mesh. We can definitely create a rope or pipe out of it, just like the open curve. Go to the Curve tab, scroll all the way down to the Geometry. Switch to Bevel Object tab, and in the Target Object, select the Bezier Circle. We get a pipe like before with a closed loop, but we can also do something very different. We can fill this curve object and create a leaf out of it. To do so, first remove this bevel object. Select the curve, then go to the object menu and convert it into a mesh object. After that, go to the edit mode. Select all the control points by pressing A on your keyboard. Then go to the face menu and select the fill option. We got a surface here. Or, let us undo this step. We can rather use the grid fill option. We get a better subdivision for the surface added here. Now go back to the object mode. We can see a nice 3D object, like a leaf, created from the original curve. To add a thickness to it, go to the Modifiers tab, and add a Solidify modifier. Change the thickness to 0.1. We can see that our leaf has now got a depth, like a solid object. For a better look, go to the Object menu and select Shade Smooth. We got our final object, with a cool figure. In this way, you can convert any curve into various objects. It takes some time and practice to gain a good control over curves. But once you master the skill, you can create and design just any kind of object in Blender. I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.